I did a reply to black people must help illegal a uh, immigrants. No, I don't think anybody should help anybody illegal. Wait a minute. What about all those people who helped those black people on the Underground Railroad? Half the motherfuckers was mad because they couldn't own slaves no more. So if I can't own a nigga, nobody else can. Let's get these niggas the fuck out of here. I digress. Let me switch. Let me go back to something else now. So, I'm supposed to be this racist. Am I racist because I work for a Mexican man? I work at a Mexican company? I work for a Mexican restaurant? I'm racist? Because I see these hard-working Mexican people look like a bunch of common fucking thieves when the next guy down the street wants to rob somebody or break in something or steal something or shoot and rape somebody and run back to Mexico. You always look at my friends like they're the one that did it. No. Like I said in the video, I've known people whose families have roots in this country for over 50 years. And I've never been racist towards a Mexican person. But... I got a lot of friends, a lot of white friends who have problems with Mexican people. Why? Because the jobs that they see that have left, you know those jobs? The ones that were outsourced? Those are the jobs that we used to take. The factory jobs. The, the assembly jobs. Making stuff jobs. Those jobs no longer exist here in America. So what do people see? They see Hispanic people working. They see Mexican people with stuff. And also they see they see the bums. They see they see the illegals. Or the undocumented. People can see them because they're all over the place. But people don't understand why they don't have no jobs. So who do you complain about? The only people you see working. I'm not complaining about nobody Mexican. But I can tell you some stories about them. I can tell you some stories about some good people who get treated fucked up because a few make the many look bad. I can tell you them stories, but would I be considered racist? When I talk about closing the borders and assimilating another country, am I racist? What do you think I am? I'm a realist, if anything. If anything, I don't like anything. Nothing. I don't like anything that perceives to be a threat or something that may hurt me. I don't like that. So when someone calls me a racist, knowing that all I've done for Mexican people, all I've done with Mexican people, someone wants to call me a racist because I don't agree with everything that's jumping off, we can be pissed off at a lot of Mexican people, but let's not be mad at Mexican people. We need to be mad at that son of a bitch who allows that Mexican person to work for nothing. If you want a level playing field, let's stop bringing new slaves in. The country has already been founded on slavery. When you bring a new set of slaves in, replace the old set of slaves because they tired of working the fields for you, then you want to call me a racist. We don't have to force people into slavery in this country. We just offer them something that the other people want. An opportunity. An opportunity to slave for America. Slave for this country, send the money home. It's all good. I didn't do that. I didn't start that. I'm not mad at that. I'm mad at the people that made that happen. I'm mad at them fruit factories. I'm mad at the lettuce company. Oh yeah. Every company over here that allows illegals to be on the payroll needs to be shut down. Every company in America that goes overseas for cheaper labor needs to be shut down. Because what is it going to do here? If I took a, a company and went south with it, what if I went to Mexico with my company? What if I went to Mexico with my company? You want me to charge these people? What, should, I, should, I, should I give them $2 an hour? $3 an hour? If an American company goes to any country, you pay those people like you would pay Americans because the price don't change on the motherfucking shoes, but you want to be mad at the man who makes them. But remember, he don't make the shoes in America anymore because our government made sure that 
He had to pay for that lady's child care if she worked there. He had to pay for that health care. He had to do all these things to make sure his workforce is happy. Why make us Americans happy over here by giving us jobs? We can go someplace else, pay a hell of a lot less money, get the same fucking results, and a motherfucker not begging for a fucking break every 35 fucking minutes. Or going outside smoking a fucking cigarette. Constantly. And you're worried about it. Why are they hiring the Mexicans? Because you're going to ask for a fucking break. Because you're going to ask for a raise. You're going to ask for something. And that Mexican who just wants an opportunity may be legal, maybe not legal, I don't know. That person wants an opportunity. Why in the hell should I pay some American top dollar when I could pay him, wear his ass out, and when he get tired, he'll get his cousin a job here. Don't fuck with me behind how I feel about Mexican people. You need to fuck with yourself. You made this happen, not me. I'm just speaking on what I see. And let me tell you something about history. Just a little bit of something about history here. In Germany, way back when there wasn't no jobs in Germany, what did Hitler say? Who did Hitler show? Hitler pointed out where the jobs was. Hitler pushed that agenda. That's what Hitler did to get his point across. If I want to be a Hitler type, I can. Because this is America. But does that make me racist? I don't want to put a bunch of Mexicans in a goddamn oven and bake them. Hitler baked the Jews. Does that make me an anti-Semite because I said that? No. It makes me racist because I believe that Americans should have a backbone. Close the border all the way around this motherfucker. Make those jobs that left pay. Because if that pair of shoes is coming back at $245 a pair, you can't blame the Mexicans for putting the shoes together. You can't blame the white man for selling them. But you're going to call me a racist. I got more Mexican friends and white friends than black friends. That makes me a racist. Hmm? Well, I guess I am a racist. I'm against everything that's stupid. And if you want to put a color on it, what color would be on it? If you could blame our problems on anybody or any race or any nationality, what color would you put on it? You can only as good as the person that trained you. You're only as smart as you've been taught. Who can teach me what when I learn from everything around me? If I was a Hitler type and I wanted to take control of this country, I would point my finger at the camera and scream a bunch of shit about Mexican people. But I'm not. Because I'm not a Hitler type. And I believe in Mexican people. I believe in the ones that struggle with me. Side by side every day at work. I believe in the ones over in Iraq right now. Dying right now for the same motherfucker. Calling them dirty Mexicans. And I believe. Not just in my country. But in my people. All of them. The white ones. The Mexican ones, the Chinese ones, the Asian ones, the Jewish ones, all of them. The white ones and the black ones. Chinese, Filipino. We can keep going because everything is in this melting pot called America and not just Mexicans. When you're making a soup, a stew, watch what you put in it. Too much of one thing will fuck up the flavor. And nobody born in this country should have to bow down, lean, bend, or construct to anybody's will. Because if you're an American, an American, an American, you deserve the respect of the world. We fought in battles for every single nation on this planet damn near and we can't even respect ourselves, I wanna cry right now. So I ain't got no time for no fucking tears. Cry for what? I'm supposed to be a racist. You've been tubed. Wait a minute, pull that tube out of you. You don't deserve to have it in you no more.